Jana Duggar has been charged with endangering the welfare of a child, the son can confirm. This week, Jana's brother Josh was found guilty on two counts of receiving and possessing CP. However, there is no indication the two cases are related. According to court papers, the 31-year-old was charged on September 10 and posted $430 bail. Jana's next court date is on January 10, 2022 at 1.30 p.m., a clerk confirmed to The Sun. Per Arkansas law, these charges can be either a Class A or B misdemeanor, and penalties can include anything from jail time to fines. Without a crystal ball was first to report the news of Jana's charge. This hit to the famous family comes just one day after eldest Duggar son Josh was was found guilty of both possessing and receiving CP. Right after the verdict was revealed, the ex-reality star was ordered straight into custody. The 33-year-old looked back at his family when the court read out that he was found guilty. While he didn't cry, Josh was teary-eyed and solemn as he was cuffed, according to the Sun's reporter at the scene. Meanwhile, his brother Justin was unable to fight back the tears and cried as he watched his older sibling being taken into custody. The counting on Alum stopped as he was being taken away to tell his wife Anna, 33, that he loved her. Family patriarch, Jim Bob, consoled Josh's wife Anna, though neither were visibly emotional. Judge Timothy L. Brooks said he hopes to be able to schedule the sentencing for Josh in four months. He added, Mr. Duggar 100% has been compliant awaiting trial. I appreciate that and I wanted to acknowledge that however, because of the guilty offenses, he must be detained regardless of flight risk, so there will be mandatory detention. The marshals will set that up. While Jana attended the trial, she has not shared her reaction to the verdict, however, her sister Jill and her husband, Derek Dillard, have. The couple took to their family website and shared a lengthy statement that kicked off, today was difficult for our family. Our hearts go out to the victims of child abuse or any kind of exploitation. We are thankful for the hard work of law enforcement, including investigators, forensic analysts, prosecutors, and all others involved who save kids and hold accountable those responsible for their abuse. The statement continued, nobody is above the law. Applies equally to everybody, no matter your wealth, status, associations, gender, race, or any other factor. Today, the people of the Western District of Arkansas made that clear in their verdict. As a Christian, we believe we are all equal at the foot of the cross, and, likewise, we are all equal under the law. Josh's actions have rippled far beyond the epicenter of the offense itself. Children have scars, but his family is also suffering the fallout of his actions, the pair wrote, and added that the trial felt more like a funeral. Meanwhile, Jim Bob and his wife, Michelle, said they'll always love Josh, while their daughter Jessa slammed CP as evil following the verdict.